Okay, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at simultaneous vector equations. Now what we're trying to do right now is we're actually determining where does two where do two lines intersect, assuming that they intersect, and how can we find that particular intersection point? Now let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look at a particular example. And let's go ahead and say that we have r sub 1, which is our first line, being described by 1 negative 6 plus t times 3 negative 2, and our second line being 0, 2 plus s, 1, 1. Now notice one of the things that you should recognize is that for line number 1 and line number 2, the parameters are both different. They're not the same, and it's going to be important that we keep them separate because of the fact that we're going to have to actually find out what those values actually are. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the methods by which we can actually solve for that. We can actually go ahead and change each one of these vector equations into Cartesian forms and then solve it as we usually would. Or we can use a system of linear equations and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at that approach because that approach is a little bit different from what we usually see. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take both line 1 and line 2 and I'm going to rewrite it so that it's in its parametric forms. So here's line 1 right here, here's line 2 right here. Okay, again notice that the parameter for the first line is t and the parameter for the second line is s. Now once I go ahead and take a look at that, basically what happens is that in order for these two to intersect, what I'm going to assume then is that the x and the y values of that one particular intersection point is the same for both lines and it makes the lines true. So what we're going to do then is we're going to say well then that x has to be equal to that x and what we know then is that 1 plus 3t has to be the same thing as s and that negative 6 minus 2t has to be equal to 2 plus s. So look at what we have here now. We have two equations with two unknowns. We're trying to solve for the parameters now. So using substitution, because we already have s solved for, we come up with t is equal to negative 9 fifths. Now if I go ahead and solve for s, I come up with negative 22 over 5. Now that doesn't give me the point on the line, which represents the intersection point of both of those two lines. What that represents is the parameter value for t, which will, give us those, which will give us that intersection point. So what that means then is that I actually have to take t and I have to substitute it back into here to find out the, actually, the actual point that is on the line r sub 1. So if I go ahead and do that, notice I come up with negative 22 over, uh, negative 22 over 5 and negative 12 over 5. And if I take the parameter s and I put it into line 2, I come up with exactly the same point. Or I come up with the exact same, uh, exact same vector. So what that means then is that those two vectors, r sub 1 and r sub 2, are pointing to the same line, uh, pointing to the same point. That point then is the intersection point of the two lines that you started off with. So therefore the intersection point is just going to be negative 22 over 5, comma, negative 12 over 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this again. Given two lines, how do we find the intersection point? We can have two methods, change it into the Cartesian form and then solve it, or we can use a system of linear equations by first taking the vector equation, changing it into its parametric form, setting the x's and y's equal to each other, solving for the different parameters, substituting those parameters back into the respective lines, and what we should find out is that those vectors are actually equal to each other, and therefore the intersection point are actually those vector values, because these vectors are in standard position. Okay, and there you go. That's how we can go ahead and solve simultaneous vector equations. We'll take a look at some examples in class, and we'll see how we do. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.